Hey seventh graders, I'm just gonna go through 2.1 really quick with you guys, it's pretty simple. Obviously if you haven't figured out by now, um, I'm gonna try to start doing a lot more of our Amplify assignments, kind of in a PowerPoint slide like this. That'll work for some of them great, but just make sure you guys are always watching the videos to see kind of where we're doing and how we're doing each assignment every day. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it as consistent as possible, but like I said, it, it won't work 100% of the time. Okay, with that being said, you guys should have your team's assignment pulled up, which looks like this. And you guys should also probably have Amplify pulled up. There's a couple things you'll need to use Amplify for today, but you guys won't actually be filling out any responses in Amplify. Okay, everything you guys do for today's assignment will happen in this PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and just take a look at our learning target for today. So it says, I can explain how different gene versions make different proteins. Okay, so obviously if we have different gene versions, which we're going to talk about here in a second, um, we're also going to refer to those as alleles more often than not. So if we have different alleles, we might see different proteins made, which would give us different traits. For instance, if you have brown eyes, you guys have different alleles or gene versions. That would make a different protein that would color your eyes brown versus blue eyes. You would have different alleles or gene versions that would cause you to make a different protein, which would cause your eyes to be a different color like blue. Okay. So, activity one, first thing you guys are do today is go to the t today's Teams post. Uh, you guys are going to open your OneNote, and you guys are going to add these uh, three vocab words. So, gene, gene version, which again we'll call allele, and mutation to your traits and reproduction vocab page of your OneNote. Okay, um, these are on today's Teams post, but you guys can also right-click here on them and copy and paste them into your OneNote as well. So let me know if you guys try copying and pasting from this PowerPoint, and we'll see how it works. And if that's the case, we'll just start using this to get you guys' notes. Okay, so if someone could let me know, that would be awesome. And then also add Key Concept 5 and Key Concept 6 to your Key Concepts page. So let's just talk really quick about this vocab. So gene is an instruction for making a protein molecule. So remember, we have our big, long DNA strands. And we have parts of our DNA strands that we use, and those are called our genes. So they're a shorter segment of all of our A's, T's, C's, and G's. And that little short segment has the recipe or the instructions to make a protein. Okay? We have parts in between genes that we haven't really figured out what their uses are yet. Okay? A gene version, which again we'll call allele. Excuse my awesome handwriting right there. Uh, a gene version or an allele is a specific form of a gene that provides instructions for making a particular protein molecule. So, for instance, you guys, widow's peak might have two alleles. You guys might have an allele that gives you a widow's peak, and you might have an allele or a gene version that gives you that straight hairline, okay? And then finally, a mutation is a random change to a gene that sometimes results in a new trait. Um, this one's mainly going to come into play the next unit or the next lesson, okay? Um, key concept five and six, so genes are instructions for proteins, which is basically the essence of what we're talking about in this lesson. And then each gene version makes a unique instruction to make a specific protein molecule in an organism's cells. Okay, so those are our vocab and our key concepts for today. Make sure those get added to your OneNote. Okay, so if you guys haven't figured out already and you are watching this video, you should know now that this video is also linked in your assignment. So if you guys, for whatever reason, can't find it on today's Teams post, it'll always be linked in the assignment if we're doing them in PowerSchool. Okay, so obviously you're watching this, so you don't need to worry about clicking on that link. Activity three, or excuse me, activity two is a hemophilia article. So for this assignment, you will log into Amplify. We are in, obviously, traits and reproduction. If you haven't figured out, we're on a new unit yet. We're already to chapter two. We're kind of skipping through a lot. Um, lesson 2.1, activity two. So I'm gonna go ahead, traits and reproduction is one with the spider. I'm gonna go into chapter two, examining spider genes, lesson 2.1. And then for today's uh, resources, the first one I'm gonna need is this reading. So it's talking about hemophilia. So just curious if anyone knows what hemophilia is. Okay, hemophilia is actually a disease that um, a lot of people have it, but one very common, uh, well-known source of hemophilia or family that has hemophilia is the royal family. So if you guys think of like uh, King, or excuse me, Prince, Prince Hen or is it Henry? Uh, and, oh geez, I do not know my pop culture, you guys. Um, Kate Middleton is married to him. What is his name?
Prince William, sorry. And then you guys got like Henry or Harry and Meghan Markle. Okay, anyway, that royal family, their ancestry goes way back hundreds of years, and they have a case of hemophilia that has ran through their family. Um, but at any rate, it's a condition where you basically don't make the correct proteins in your blood to help clot your blood if you get injured. So if you guys get a paper cut, okay, you might bleed for a second, but then you have all these little proteins in your blood that basically act like a dam and stop you from bleeding. Okay. With hemophilia, you have a genetic condition where you don't make those proteins. So realistically, and, and this is the case, you could die from a paper cut because you would not stop bleeding. Okay, You wouldn't have the me mechanisms in your body to stop you from uh, bleeding to death. Um, same with a bruise. A bruise is basically just a, a, like an injury inside your body that causes you to bleed internally. Okay, um, if you were to get a bruise and you're a hemophiliac, you could bleed to death internally. Um, so obviously now we live in a day of modern medicine where we have different things that can treat these. Um, we don't really have a cure for it yet. We haven't been able to do any gene therapy that effectively cures someone with hemophilia, but we do have a lot of, like I said, treatment to help people who have hemophilia from not bleeding to death. Um, so imagine the bubble you guys would have to live in if you had to prevent yourself from getting cut or getting a bruise or anything of that matter where you could potentially not be able to clot your own blood and bleed to death, okay? So read this article. You guys don't have to annotate it or highlight, okay? Um, but if you guys choose to, so here's your article link. Remember that Amplify will read this to you, okay? So if you choose to do that, go ahead and click on the little speaker at the top and Amplify can read to you. And then all you guys need to do is answer the question. So here's your little speaker. Hit play. Hemophilia, protein. And it takes about five minutes for the Amplify to read that article to you. Okay. So when you guys are looking at these slides and you see a little question mark, that means that is a slide that has something you need to answer. Okay. So right here you have three questions to answer. In your own words, what is hemophilia? Please do not copy and paste from the article or Google anything. Uh, what is another word for gene version? Okay, we talked about that in our vocab, but it's also in the article. And then how are scientists working to cure or treat people with hemophilia? So talk a little bit about that, um, a little bit about gene therapy in your guys' explanation. Okay, moving on, activity three is the simulation. So this assignment today is pretty short. Um, for this one, you guys will need to go back into Amplify. You'll need to go into your homework, and you guys will need to launch the simulation. Okay. So really, you're not putting anything in Amplify today, but you are using it for the article and the simulation. Here's your guys' instructions. So press on any spider. Select a feature. Notice the traits and proteins the spider has for that feature. So as I look at this, then I'm going to look up in the upper right-hand corner, and there's going to be these little black boxes that show us our chromosomes. So I'll show you guys that right now. Okay, so let's just pick a spider. I'm going to randomly pick Leo, and I'm going to pick Bristle. Okay? So Leo has sparse bristles. Remember, there's dense, there's sparse, and then there's no bristles at all. Okay, and then up here, you guys have these little black boxes. Okay, we can also note the proteins that Leo has. So to have sparse protein or uh, hairy legs or whatever, he has both proteins one and two. So we can see here's protein two, here's protein one. If you guys are curious how those come together to form that trait, you guys can kind of look and say, all right. Here's these two proteins. This is kind of how they connect together. Okay, and that kind of shows us how many hairs they're making based on this little diagram here. So you guys can check that out and say, all right, this is why he has hairy legs or not. Okay, so what you guys are going to do, though, is you're going to click on one of these black boxes, and we're going to change it. So I'm going to change R1 to R2 just to see what happens. doesn't matter how you change it. Just make a change to it and observe what happens might take a minute, but if you guys notice, it looks like we no longer have protein number one, but we just have protein number two being made. Maybe I switch them both to R1 to see what happens. Okay, so I'll let you guys kind of mess with that. You guys can pick, obviously, a different spider other than Leo and a different trait other than bristles and kind of check out what happens with those two alleles if you were to change one of them. Okay, next slide, you guys notice the big question mark, so obviously there's something you need to answer there. 
It says, what do you observe in the cell when you change the spider's gene versions? So change it a couple times and just let me know what in general you observed. Okay, and then do you think what you observed is evidence that genes are instructions for proteins? Okay, so how does this tell us that those genes, those A, in this case it was R1 and R2, those are our genes. How does that give us instructions that they're, they make proteins? Okay, and then why or why not? So explain yourself on that one, okay? One more slide. You guys have a question mark, so there's something you need to fill out here for this one. You can use the draw feature. If you guys have any questions, you can either circle yes or no, like no, no questions today, okay? Uh, and then if you do have questions, go ahead and click. Make sure you go back to your cursor. Click and type right here. And then finally, you guys are going to rank yourself. How do you feel you did on this assignment? Do you think you could teach it to someone else? Circle four. I own this. I'm going to say I own that, but I don't think I could teach it to someone else. I hope that's not the case. Uh, I'm still unsure about a few things, and I have no clue what you're talking about. So let me know how you guys think you did. And answer honestly, it's not going to be any detriment to you guys. It just kind of tells me if there's something I'm not teaching well enough for you guys or something you're just still not getting. Okay. So answer those questions and then you are done. Don't forget to hand in your assignment. Make sure it's 100% complete before you hand it in. And if you guys have any questions, like I said, type them in there. Or if there's anything that you need immediate help with, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Teams and I can pull this up and help you guys out. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.